Or you know my blazer. I restarted my phone and it found this little speck of memory. I just posted a video from Colorado Rockies. So I can delete it. I got some plastic fingers here. I'm doing some plumbing. I just bounced around. My buddy just passed by with his beautiful red forerunner. Wants me to weld his frame and put a clutch in his truck. But I was just thinking about something when I unloaded a toilet I found in the trash to put up in the apartment upstairs. I've got these uh, hoses that came in the truck and I didn't think they fit because this truck uses a smaller diameter radiator and when you buy a hose sometimes they give you a bushing to stick in here or a radiator they give you a bushing but I didn't think this thing used the big hoses and I'm pretty sure these came in the truck I don't think I bought them but then it made me think that when I squeezed the hose to check the water level I heard listen well, that's squeaking but it was Oh, you heard it? Crunch. Actually, you can hear it in here like a seashell. Crunch. I knew there was rust inside the hose, which I'd never removed. So I ran the thermocure like my buddy, what's his name now in Florida? The tow truck guy. Let's put the light on. Look at that. I ran how many containers of anti-rust and how many flushes and how many times did I run the water through it? Look at that. That's nasty. My sister had a, what did she have? What kind of car? A Cavalier. And how much did she drive? 5,000 miles a year. After three or four years, one of her hoses was leaking pretty badly, so I took it off and it was rotten inside. And it was three, four years old, five years old. It's you're talking 25 years ago. Anyway, so that Thermocure took the radiator, the rust out of the radiator on the other side, but what did it do on this side? I let some of the water drain out and it was a little rusty. I think this rust is permanently attached. It needs to be boiled out with a fancy machine and a vibrating acid filled machine. When you look on this side, it looks, I know, it's got to focus. It looks pretty clean. The water looks pretty clear. I run, you can't really see it here because you got a reflection, but with my bare naked eyes, that water looks pretty clear. And I've run thousands of gallons through this cooling system. So I'm sure I got a lot of the loose rust and some of the easy to remove rust off, but yeah, thermal cure. I don't know, that's still rust. And I flushed it. That's rust. Yep. So if anybody wants to know if it works, I guess, but there's no magic. Nothing replaces scraping things with a wire brush or whatever else you got to scrape your rust out of there with. So these hoses don't fit and I don't think I bought them so they're not going back to the auto parts store because they want to check your purchase history. Transmission oil filter. My buddy rebuilt the transmission in his 2001-ish Suburban. I recommend you dump the oil and put a filter in line. I sent you a link. Or drive the Mercedes. <laughs> Diesel. My Corvair's under the cover. All right, enough of this crap. Thanks for watching. See if this thing posts. Sometimes it says, it says failed transfer, not uploaded, blah, 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 but then it works. Just keep on uh, plugging away.